Number 26, the tension at which a fishing line snaps is commonly called the line strength. What minimum strength is needed for a line that is to stop a salmon of weight 85 newtons in 11 centimeters if the fish is initially drifting at 2.8 meters per second? Assume a constant deceleration. Okay, so the first thing that we can notice here is that we don't know the mass of the fish, we know its weight. So the weight of the fish is equal to its mass times the acceleration of gravity. This equation is similar to this one, F equals to M times a so in in this case g is equal to the acceleration of gravity so if we want to find the mass of the fish we just divide the weight by the gravity the weight is 8. is 85 and the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 and this is roughly 8.7 kilograms so that's the mass of the fish so we want to find the, the line's strength so we have to find the force that the line can stands. So if we want to find the force, one way to do that is to find the acceleration. So we can use this equation over here. So our strategy here is to find the acceleration that we need to stop the fish in 11 centimeters. And then we just plug the answer in this equation over here and then we find F. So how do we find the acceleration? If the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use x equals to xo plus vot plus at squared over 2. We can also use v equals to vo plus at and v squared is equal to vo squared plus 2 times a delta x. So one thing that I always recommend to my students is, is that when you have different equations that you don't know which one to use, you just circle the things that you don't know. For example, we know the final position the initial position because delta x is equal to 11 centimeters. We know the initial velocity of the fish. We don't know how long it takes to stop the fish. We don't know the acceleration and we don't know how long it takes to stop the fish. We know the final velocity, which is zero because the, the fish, we have to stop the fish. The initial velocity we know as well, which is 2.8. The acceleration we don't know and t we don't know also okay this uh, v we know v o we know the acceleration we don't know and delta x we know so you, you can see that the only equation that have only one thing that we don't know is this equation over here and this equation over here tells us that we can find the acceleration using this equation because that's the only thing that is circled in this equation so if you circle the things that you don't know it becomes pretty clear what you have to do. So we have to use this equation over here. So let's isolate the acceleration. So V squared minus V O squared over two times delta X is equal to the acceleration. So the final velocity is zero. The initial velocity is 2.8. Uh, delta X is equal to 11 centimeters, which is the same as 0 0.11. And this is equal to the acceleration. Okay, so you just have to solve this equation over here and then uh, acceleration at zero. So the acceleration is equal to minus, minus, so minus 36 meters per square second. So that's the acceleration that we want. And then we just plug the acceleration in this equation over there. And then we can find that F is equal to 8.7 times minus 36 and this is roughly oh, let's put it in this way this is equal to minus 3.1 times 10 to the second newton so this is this is negative because you you're your deceleration the fish but you could write the the answer as a magnitude of this value it would be positive that would be the only difference, but that's the answer of this exercise.